Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBeeDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I have for you a fun flower pot card. Now this has got some really cool products that Stamping Up has in their annual catalog and their holiday catalog. I love this foil here. When I saw the poinsettia petals stamp set with the bundle, the poinsettia dies, and all that beautiful embossing there, I just kept thinking of like those beautiful potted plants that we get around Christmas time with the beautiful foil around them. So I went to town with this. Now this one I use the red velvet. Now this is red velvet and it is in the holiday catalog, the mini catalog, and I'm also using the green foil and then I'm going to be using red foil on my other card because I ran out of my velvet. So I got to make sure I grab some more of that because even when the catalog is retired, I'm going to want to have this beautiful velvet here for to make these poinsettias. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this really cool card that pulls out and then you just pop it back in and there you go and you have some beautiful poinsettias okay as i said before we're using the poinsettia petals stamp set that's bundled at a 10 percent discount with the poinsettia dies now on this card i used for my sentiment the layering ovals but then i use the three dies here and these dies are made like these leaves they have two pieces to them and when i ran my flowers through. I just put a piece of scotch tape on the side and then it just kept them right in place for me even though um, you know it doesn't really move that much or anything but it just made it so quick lickety split and got it done. So I'm using the bigger one, the middle one, and the smaller one and then there's two leaves in there and I use the larger and the smaller and like I said the layering ovals. So we're just going to set this aside a second. One of the I think keys key things on not only the foil and the beautiful red velvet and the beautiful gold glitter enamel dots but this um, old world paper 3d embossing folder just looked just like that crinkled foil that comes on the poinsettias so that's what I used for that so to get started we are going to start I made a base and then I put my foil on top of my base so I'm starting out with a three and a half inch wide by eight and three quarters. Now this just happened to be the, um, I gotta get this wire out of the way there. This just happened to be the measurement that worked well for me. There's many different uh, oh, renditions of different um, sizes that other demonstrators and card makers use, but this one for this card just worked really well for me to do three and a half by eight and three quarters. And then I'm just gonna use my Stampin' Trimmer. I'm gonna pull out the arm, which is great, cause then I have clear until 17 inches. So I'm gonna put that eight and three quarter inch side up against the upper uh, border here, the upper um, edge here. And I'm going to put the, I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna put my left side at one and three quarters. So one and three quarters. I'm gonna make sure my cutting blade is out of the way and I'm going to score it. Score it at one and three quarters. And then I'm gonna to go to five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. All right. And then I'm just gonna put this, oh no, I'm not putting that away. I'm gonna be using that again. So when you go to make this card, you fold up one side and then fold down the other to make the flower pot. So that makes your basis of your flower pot. But we need to make that angle. It looks like I got some dirt on here, but oh, there we go, came right off. Um, we're gonna make that angle at the bottom of the flower pot. It's super simple to do. We're just gonna keep, we're gonna unfold that flap that we folded down. And we're going to take that corner where, not the corner, well, it's a corner here, but right where that, where we, scored here. We're going to put that right in the cutting groove and we're going to put this right point at a half inch. Okay, so right here is a half inch, right there coming down and I'm going to put that corner, the right corner there and put the point where the scoring ends on that edge of the paper right in the groove. And then I'm gonna be cutting. Now, I might get some resistance here, so usually I put my paper down and I start in the middle and then I go back up, 
and we are going on two layers and I did use a thick whisper white um, to keep it really nice and sturdy so it actually looks like I yeah there we go so then we're going to flip it over and do the same thing here so we're gonna put the score right into the at the um, cutting groove and put the edge over to a half there we go and then once again we're gonna do that cut again all right there we go looks like I'm off just a little bit on this side but I don't think we're gonna notice nope we won't it looks like I was off just a tiny bit here but when this folds down it's very forgiving and it still looks really nice or actually let's see here it's about that much yeah it's perfect okay so once again start out with a three and a half inch wide by eight and three quarters and then you're gonna score it at one and three quarters and five and a quarter and those measurements are always on my blog and they're also underneath the YouTube description you'll see where it says visit my blog here press that link but I also put the measurements there for you so there is going to be our flower pot but we need to get our foil on here so what I did is I cut my um, this is brass why brass why did I choose brass well I chose brass because I used all my gold up <laughs> and this brass oh it is so shiny so what we're gonna do is run it through the big shot with the old world paper 3d embossing folder since it's a 3d embossing folder if you're using your new stamp and cut stamp and cut and emboss machine or your old big shot you're going to be putting this in with the purple plate because it's made by stamping up so it's going to need the purple plate or if you're new machine it's going to be that gray plate so you're going to take out the thin plate adapter put your folder down with your paper inside put your gray on top and run it through so there we go we have this now this is going to be covered here and also here I found the best way to do that is just to put it on here and then just trim around it now I glued this one on but gluing takes a little bit more time to dry so I'm going to attempt to use my tear and tape and see if that works a little better okay so I'm going to put tear and tape down along the edge this is really hard with my bum finger here I have to tell you I'm not sure if it was really like my fault or it was carelessness but I climbed up on a step stool in my laundry room to get some things off of a high shelf and when I went to put my foot back down onto this the step stool I took a grand crash to the floor I literally thought I was gonna break every bone in my body but luckily I just broke one fingernail and um, it bled like crazy and I finally got it calm down because I was all ready to make a video so this is a fresh injury <laughs> and um, I'm still a little shaky about it because it could have been very a very detrimental injury I'm surprised I did not break like my arm or my back or hit something so I'm thanking Jesus and I did I sat there for quite a while saying was that foolish of me to climb up there and I was like no I think I just it just slipped um, Okay, so I'm just gonna trim up a little bit of this uh, tear and tape. See, I just told you a story while I was doing a little bit of working there. So we're just gonna put this over here. So I'm just gonna get my take your pick tool and I'm going to take off the protective covering off of my tear and tape. And just pull that off. Well, let's not, it is very, actually very hard to work with this finger <laughs> but I'll just go from the inside here maybe that'll work since I won't have to use my finger good thing is too that I um, once I got my finger all finangled I think it's gonna be okay once I got the bleeding stopped on it um, but I luckily I'm due to get my nails done so I'm not, it wasn't like a fresh nail is done. So what we're going to do is just put this old world right where we put 
our tear and tape, and now it's nice and secure. And then we're just gonna take a nice pair of scissors. Like I use my really good sharp scissors. I just got these new ones, these Westcott Titanium Nonstick. So I'm just gonna kind of put it here because we're gonna put this piece on here. So then all we have to do, and because I use the tear and tape, um, I'm not gonna have ooby gooby glue everywhere. And then I'm just going to cut up along this edge. And that's where you're gonna want like a nice long pair of scissors to make a nice clean cut. Okay, this one, remember, I got it a little bit off here, but it'll be covered. So I just trim that off. And now I've got the bottom of my pot done. Now, this is gonna be folding over. So we wanna put some tear and tape across here as well. And we're just gonna throw that on there. Hopefully I can get this a little bit. It wasn't something I could prep since I had to show you how to cut this. And you could use any um, of our foils. You could use the brass, you could use the brushed metallics, you could use um, gold, silver, copper. So many beautiful, um, actually you could use green and red too when you think about it, except for we're using that on our card already. So we just gotta, take off this tear and tape here. I just literally, when I saw that, um, that old world paper embossing for, I actually thought of the poinsettias clear back when it came out in June. I thought that just looks like crumpled up um, aluminum foil or that real fancy foil at Christmas time. So we're just gonna pull this off. There we go. And we're just going to, and you don't have to be real super perfect with this only up along the edge where it's folding down. So we're going to put that foil on there and it's gonna be folding down here. And see how easy it is, you don't have anything to work with when you're using that tear and tape. You don't have to, there we go. You don't have to wait for the glue to dry. You don't get glue all over your scissors. Because when I made the last card, I did. So there we go, we'll get our little fancies out of the way. This is a really fancy card. So this is gonna be put down too, so let's just go ahead and put a piece of tear and tape right on there. And then we can just pull that protective coating off of here and droop, there we go. Put that down and we have got our pot made. Now, there's a mechanism that slides out of our card. So we have to put our um, card together, but we're not gonna put it together down at the whole edge of here, because when this mechanism goes down into here, you want it to have a little bit of wiggle room and you can't put adhesive the whole way down here. So I only put adhesive like right up along these edges here. So I'm just gonna use a little bit more tear tape. This time I think I'm gonna cut a couple little pieces here. Whoa, don't stick. Ah! Well, that didn't work. Okay. Ah! Did it again. <laughs> okay, so let's put a piece right along that edge. And then this piece, keep connected to your finger. Don't cut your finger. And then we'll put it right there. So that gives your card a good adhering on it, but yet you don't have to worry about the um, the insert that goes slides the pull out part sliding getting caught on anything. Okay. Oh, my finger is throbbing. Oh gosh. All right. Thanks for having compassion for me. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is figure out this little dimension here. And this, I already did this here. You have these two little inserts. This insert here is two and a quarter, two and a quarter by four and a quarter. So four and a quarter going down in, but two and a quarter wide. So that just meant I wanted to make this two by four. So those are real easy dimensions to, to, to um, remember. So, and if you're making a bunch of these cards, you can just, um, you know, cut your red into um, right at the halfway mark. Okay, 
my fingers aren't no actually look my tear and tape or my stamp and seal is done and now i know i'm done because you can see that red in there i never knew that so that is pretty cool so what i'm going to do is just pull out my trusty tombow just put a little bit along the edges because we're going to be writing in here a message and you don't want any lumps and bumps there so let's put that right on our red well that's cool i found out about the stamp and seal when you know it's done <laughs> okay so to get your flowers which this is a little crazy like I might have decorated a little but then it could get caught as well but you have a little bit it's pretty on the front <laughs> not so much on the back but I'm gonna put some dimensionals across here because that's where um, my flowers are gonna go so you just stick this with your sentiment there oh and I love the sentiment the happy holidays these sentiments are beautiful in here I love the font on the Merry Christmas thank you for making this a wonderful season warm wishes from our home to yours and may the magic now this one was a pretty big sentiment oh where, where is it at oh I'm gonna show you something fun I did the back of my envelope I stamped a poinsettia and put that on the back because I wanted to use it on this card but it wouldn't quite fit there so I just put it on my envelope and so you're just gonna pop that into your flower pot right into that opening we made so that is your insert there and as you can see you have some wiggle room there so it goes kind of goes right into the middle part of your flower pot of course if your fingers were all working in the right way <laughs> you wouldn't have any problem getting it there okay so we have our no wait why is that there we go okay so we have that there so what I did is I just took dimensionals and put across the top now why is this just not I want it to be straight okay so I'm gonna take some dimensionals and I'm going to layer them right across the top because I want the flowers to have some dimension to them so that they don't get stuck when they're going in. So I'm just putting some dimensionals and you'll notice I'm putting them with the flat side of the hexagon against the edge right there. So you've got your dimensionals there. So now we're gonna put together our flowers. Now this is the fun part. If you thought that the velvet was pretty, haha, -ha, I did this with red foil because I told you before I ran out of my my velvet though. Um, we had fun. So what I did was I put some tear and tape on the back of these because glue, glue is a great medium to use but it takes a little more time to to set so I just decided to go ahead and put my tear and tape on the back of my poinsettias and then layer them so we've got one big one and then I had on this card a small one on the pot and a small one at the top of this one so again I just put a little bit of tear and tape there layer that let me see I think I want to put the chunky petal there we go and then we need to put together one more okay so cover up there we go so we have our three poinsettias one has three layers of petals and these two have two now another thing I did was I use the green foil for my leaves and so I have a couple leaves I probably I'm not going to use all these leaves but we're going to see about putting this together so I'm going to put this one here now what if you build this whole flower pot and then you go to put it in an envelope and it doesn't fit? So this is why I have my envelope sitting out. You could use your grid paper. You could use, I don't know if you cut some of your grid paper down or if you have the grid paper that goes with the Stamparatus, but I find it just as easy to get out an envelope. So I'm gonna put my flower pot in my envelope. So now I can, cause what if I put the flower like that and it wouldn't fit? So I'm going to, 
put my flower pot on my envelope and then I'm going to put my flower on and then I'll know that it'll fit because I put my flowers on when it was in the envelope okay so I'm, oh gosh I love this foil so it's just adhering right along there and then we're gonna put on another one and actually I think I'm gonna put I um oh I should have layered this a little different I should have do you know what Hmm. <laughs> I was going to say make sure you leave this this one open, but I think what I'll do is just put a piece of tear and tape on top of there. Wow, the tear and tape's coming in really handy today. And then I'll know that it's going to stick onto there. So do you see what I what I did? Is I didn't I should have pushed this up a little bit, but there's no way I'm taking that off with all those dimensionals. So I just put a little tear and tape on there, and then. I'll be just putting that there and you'll see that it's not stuck to the card because I put the dimensionals there so it slides right back in okay like I said there we go and so we have our first two flowers on there and you can see that they both fit in the four and a quarter width there now I wanted to jazz it up a little bit more so I put another poinsettia down here but you're not going to want to put your dimensionals up too close here because then it's going to impede this pushing back in so what you're going to do is take a couple dimensionals here and put them at the bottom of your poinsettia okay clear down at the bottom so it can slide back behind there okay so I'm just putting two dimensionals here and I'm almost wondering if I could put a third one just to keep it really secure on there and that one I'm just gonna cover up that little edge there and so because you know how poinsettias are like overflowing in your in the pot so now you can see that doesn't impede it's on the actual pot and this one is there okay so I wanted to add some green in there with my there we go. I knew it was like a little crooked there. You wonder if people play with the cards as much as we do when they get them. So I wanted to put some green on there. And I did try green cardstock, but the green cardstock was just blah when you compare it with all this fancy stuff. So we're going to put some green on with um, adding it with the red, the green foil with the red foil. So here's the smaller one. And like I said, we have to remember this has to stay within the confines of our dimensions of our card, which is our envelope. So let's just play around here a little bit. I think maybe we'll put a big leaf down here and we'll just put some, we can just put some glue right on here or why don't we just put a little tear tape because it can stay stationary on your card because it isn't doesn't have any mechanism with them so you can just pop that one right underneath you can just pop let's see where did I put this one okay um, should I I wanted let me see a second here on this card when I made it when you slip it right back into the flower pot down there it I want it here and here so let me see yeah let's put a small one like I said you got to keep it within your card so I think hmm. <laughs> I think that'll keep it so I'm gonna put some tear and tape on the top of this one because I want it to adhere to the actual poinsettia that's on the the actual flower pot so let me just stick a little tear and tape and this will all adjust as you're making the card you know you might find you put your flowers a little bit to the left or to the right to the so whichever way you have done it you'll know if it fits so here we go keeping this inside the card and this has to adhere to the actual flower so that this isn't impeded when it comes back down okay so when you go to put your okay there we go 
Ah, there we go. Tricky, huh? Okay, so you see that this has to be adhered to the flower itself. And now we wanna pop, and you know, instead of using the big one, I think I might use another small one. Let me see, because I want to, oh, we have to use the, let me see, we're gonna put this here. Yes, let's put it, does that look nice there? Let's see. No, I think I do want to use another smaller one. And I'm going to put it, and I'm going to adhere it to the back of this flower. So once again, I'm going to put the tear and tape on the top of the foil, on the good side of the foil. And then we can just take off that protective tape. There we go. And again, put that on the back of our poinsettia and it's adhered to the poinsettia, not the pot. You wanna make sure you're always able to move it in and out. Okay, so now you've got these gorgeous foil, foil all around, okay? Now we need to decorate the insides of these poinsettias to really, really just finish it off. So what I did is I used these glitter gold, gold glitter enamel dots. And I just took and used three sizes. There's actually, one, two, three, four, five different sizes. And what I did for this one is I used not the largest, or did I do? Yeah, I did use the large. So I used the one, two, three, one, two, and then this one. So the largest one, let me see, I'll do it this way. So I put a large one, and then I put the next size down and then the next size down. But I didn't do um, the, here it is, here's the next, uh, I had cut these for a class. So I just put like three different sized ones. So a big one, and then the next size down from the big one. Here we go. I have to make sure you get, I'm gonna pull back my old piercer because it has a little bit sharper of a tip. And sometimes when I'm getting things off, it just works. And then I'm getting that, that little one again, the next one down, not the smallest. And then put that one there. Okay, and then let's just finish up this last one. And let's put a big one. And then the next size down. And then the next size, one up from the smallest. Because the, these dots have the actual glitter underneath the clear enamel, so you have to be careful to make sure you carry up that with it. So there we go, we've got this beauty, I think these, um, gold glitter, even though they're gold, I just think they really um, reflect nicely with the brass. And like I said, you can use any color um, to make your flower pot. So then I just put a quick little sentiment on that. And on this sentiment, I actually did the scallop oval in velvet to match that one. And this one I used the foil. So then we just are going to put our dimensionals on but because I put it offset it a little bit, you don't want to show any of your dimensional there. So you're going to pop the one here and here, and I'm just going to remove the, <laughs> my watch kept uh, making noise. And I thought my phone is um, turned off while I'm making a video, but, and then I looked down at my watch and somebody's sending me some pictures of cards they made. See, I told you, send me your photos. I love it. So there we go. We have our happy holidays here. And on the inside, warm wishes from our home to your, and then you just, to yours, talking too fast, then you pop that in, slip your poinsettias behind the other poinsettia and hoping that your recipient does the same thing. And you've got this beautiful card that will fit right into your envelope. See, you just slide it in here because you, you use that envelope as your bordering and boom, 
there you go. And actually, you know what I also love about these? these oh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show off that back. What I really love about these two is they have a low profile. So they're not as chunky and they slid right in there. But I would, if I were you, I just put either um, a piece of a uh, Kleenex. <laughs> I've been known to grab a little piece of toilet paper as well, or a little piece of a paper towel or a piece of cardstock to just go over that to protect those. So there you go. Poinsettia petals, the great um, dies that are in that set, and the stamp set, and this old world paper 3D embossing folder really, I think, made really just jazzed up the show and this one using all the foils we have and this one using the red velvet such a pretty um just a beautiful uh combination of even the velvet and the green foil with the brass so i hope you have fun once again you can go to my blog cindyleebdesigns.com you can see additional photos additional information about how to make this card thanks for buzzing by friends